Getting turned on to music is a utopia type feeling. I heard the blues the first time and growing up in the Delta town of Belzona on the radio. I must have been 15 at that time. I used to play blues every day from 5 till 10 at night. Aristotle said truth is beauty and beauty is truth. So if you can actually capture some truth, you've actually created something beautiful. Uh, I remember a gig, one of the first really fun gigs I had was uh, somewhere where they had didn't have any blues and they were real excited. And we started playing at eight o'clock and we played till six in the morning at this pub. And uh, the place was full at six in the morning. They just wanted to hear music. And uh, we'd never been asked to keep on playing, so we loved it, you know. That's a different kind of uh, performance, I guess, because they just want to feel. And so it's like raw emotion, like punk rock music or something, and you uh, just throw yourself in there and you, but to have an audience uh, really want to feel something and get, getting into it is, uh, will pull music out of you that you didn't know existed. To, today, what, as far as feeling music as a musician like myself that lives here, um, the, the only time anyone actually listen, listens is uh, the tourist in Clarksdale. Uh, the, the, Delta, the country Delta Blues has is, is died out and there's not hardly any younger people playing it. But the uh, modern blues is thriving. The biggest fear I have with the blues is, is less people understanding the, uh, the heritage, the culture of the blues, where it came from. I mean, that's what's dying out and will be dead shortly. You can't carry on certain aspects. You can only carry on certain aspects of culture, I guess, in music. But I, I hope blues, I hope there's people that take the blues further. There's that, there's uh, music there that's undiscovered. Uh,